Greetings to you, my dear friend, wherever you are. I hope all is well with you and your family by the grace of God. The Bible informs us in Revelation 21 verse 1, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. This concept essentially is repeated in Isaiah 65 verse 17 and Isaiah 66 verse 22. God will make a new heaven and a new earth. According to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, Now if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature or a new creation. So the Bible tells us there will be new people, and by the way, through the power of the gospel, new people are being made every day. So God has to remake heavens, He has to remake the earth, He has to remake people. Why? Because the heavens, the earth, and inhabitants of both heaven and earth were contaminated by sin. Consequently, God has to destroy anything touched by sin and replace it with something brand new, replace it with people brand new, made new by the gospel. The heavens were governed by the law of God. God will remake the heavens. He will not remake the law. The earth was and remains governed by the same law. Because thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven, as we say in the Lord's Prayer. The earth will be remade, the law will not be remade. People who sinned, sinners, violators of God's law, will be remade, those who give themselves to Christ, through the power of the gospel. The law of God will not be remade to suit sinners because there was nothing wrong with the law of God. The point I'm trying to make Anything contaminated by sin cannot last forever. God will either make a new version or that thing will cease to exist altogether. The law of God, my listening friend, will remain as it has always been because the law is a very expression of the righteousness of God. To change the law of God, God himself has to change, which means the Sabbath of the law of God is itself unchangeable. As verily as God is unchangeable, the Sabbath is unchangeable because the law is holy, just, good, and spiritual, and so is it with the Sabbath. The earth, contaminated by sin, must be changed. The heavens, contaminated by sin, must be changed. People, contaminated by sin, and who give themselves to Christ, will be entirely remade, brand new creation. But the law of God will remain now and forever the same, because holiness does not change, justice does not change, righteousness does not change, and God himself does not change. My dear friend, keep the Sabbath holy. For in so doing, you will be saying, along with the Bible, the law of God does not change, because God does not change. The earth will change. The heavens will change. Sinners who give themselves to Christ will be changed. But that standard of right, that standard of holiness, that standard of righteousness, that reflection of the very character of God, will never change. Why? Because there's nothing wrong with the law of God. Let me be more specific. There is nothing wrong with the Sabbath commandment. May the Lord bless you as you keep the Sabbath holy, or if you are not a Sabbath keeper, as you allow the Spirit of God to gently lead you to make the intelligent decision to keep the Sabbath of God a law that will never change. God bless you as you keep the Sabbath holy.